Welcome to Intangle's Lab Tutorials. In this video, we shall dive deep into the workings and features of our platform. A wide variety of features catering to vehicle health, fleet performance, driver behavior monitoring, fuel analysis and maps will be explored. The platform deals with diagnostics and prognostics of a fleet of vehicles. We analyze the existing alerts during diagnostics, whereas we deal with predictive monitoring in prognostics. Let's look at the platform's diagnostic and prognostic aspects here. Vehicle Health Beginning with one of the most important features of our platform, the Vehicle Health page. This page supplies all the information and analytics concerning the engine and battery alternator system. To access the Vehicle Health page, click on the Health tab. We have two options, Fleet and Device Health. To obtain data about your fleet, click on the Fleet Health option. All the vehicles registered on the platform are visible on this page. Next, it displays various health filters associated with issues pertaining to the engine and alternator of a vehicle. They are categorized according to severity ranging from critical, major, and minor to good. Critical codes indicate that the vehicle has already suffered a breakdown or is about to soon. Therefore, they need to be addressed immediately. Major codes indicate that the vehicle might break down and its performance is currently hampered. Minor codes indicate that the vehicle will not necessarily suffer a breakdown immediately. Instead, they mostly initiate due to problems in the auxiliary system. Good codes indicate that the vehicle has no issues and need not be checked. The vehicles are listed on the page based on the order of severity of their fault codes. Critical and major codes can be seen at the top and minor or good codes can be listed at the bottom of the list. You can also find some filters at the top of the list. The first filter is the vehicle name. Next, you can type in the last four digits of a vehicle's plate, displaying the filtered results. The next filter is vehicle groups, wherein we can create specific groups of particular vehicles and display those using the filter. We also have a specification filter that displays the vehicles under a selected model. Next, we have the health filters, wherein you can filter out the vehicles according to the severity of the vehicle issue. Through the algo filters, you can see the alerts raised for issues related to engine temperature or the battery alternator. To see detailed information about a particular vehicle, click on the details button. This page shows the health certificate of a vehicle with details about the manufacturer, make and model, and engine. Next, we have a list of the onboard diagnostic parameters that we analyze on a vehicle and the fault codes section on the right. Under the fault codes section, we have active and inactive codes. Active codes are codes that are currently live on the vehicle, whereas inactive codes are the ones that have automatically healed. However, it is still recommended to get the inactive codes checked and erased whenever the vehicle next visits the service center. In the event of a fault code being triggered, the check engine light in a vehicle is turned on, on the instrument cluster. Then, click on the details button to get additional details about a particular fault code. This provides a description of the fault code and the probable symptoms and causes. We also have a history section that shows a list of fault codes that have been resolved over time. As an added advantage, we have the option to export all the data as an Excel sheet using the export button. The Excel sheet contains all the information like the severity of the issue, vehicle plate number, make and model of the vehicle, and a detailed description of the issues and the fault codes. Moving on, the next feature is the daily mileage report which provides a summary of the vehicle's operational performance. The bar chart depicts the vehicle's fuel economy, whereas the line graph shows the distance covered. You can also filter out the results by choosing your desired duration. Next, we have the engine temperature graphs. The engine temperature versus engine load graph displays the variations observed in the engine temperature with respect to engine load whereas the engine temperature versus time graph shows the variation with respect to time. We also have an alert message section that details the alerts raised regarding the engine temperature. 
Another section for charging system analysis displays graphs showing variations in battery charging voltage with changes in engine RPM and time, indicating under voltage and over voltage. Finally, we have a feature to analyze the air intake system. We have one graph that depicts turbo boost pressure with reference to engine load and RPM and another with respect to the engine fuel rate. You can hover over the boost pressure values marked on the graph to evaluate them manually. Fleet Performance Next, we have the Fleet Performance page. It is primarily used to track fleet performance and driver behavior. To access the Fleet Performance page, click on the Fleet Performance tab. Here we have a list of filters, including the date and time filters, to display the required data within the stipulated time span. We also have filters like specifications, mileage, performance, vehicle type, vehicle name, and vehicle group. Initially, we have a mileage graph which depicts a comparative analysis of the fuel economies of all the vehicles registered on the platform. The significant factors that affect a vehicle's fuel economy are fault codes, route of operation, load carried and driver behavior. In addition, if you click on one of the markers for a Mahindra vehicle, you can also see the driver's usage for different fuel smart modes. Focusing on driver behavior, we have our next section dedicated to common driving malpractices. The graph depicts instances of idling, overspeeding, hard braking, harsh acceleration, and free running. You can click on the graph, and a complete instance-wise breakup will appear. You can then click on any desired instance to open the geolocation where the incident occurred. For idling, our system tracks instances of wasteful idling, configurable as per the customer's needs. Similarly, for overspeeding, speeds over the defined range are recorded, and alerts are raised. Finally, Hard braking and harsh acceleration are tracked according to sudden drops and rises in speed. Free running is a unique feature offered by our platform. It tracks neutral driving at high speeds, which compromises the vehicle's safety and is a primary cause of accidents. In addition, all the data pertaining to a particular vehicle can be exported in the form of an Excel sheet by clicking the Export button. Finally, we have the Gearbox Utilization section comprising three gear distribution charts. These are Gear Utilization Over Time. This chart gives insights into the overall gear usage. Gear Utilization From Standstill. This chart gives insights on which gear the driver picks up the vehicle from a standstill condition. Aggregate Engine Speed. This chart gives insights into how the engine RPMs are maintained across different gears. For GearWise details, you can refer to the below GearWise RPM graph. Next, we have the Alerts page that lists, describes and summarizes all the errors and their respective fault codes for all the vehicles registered on the platform. It can be accessed by clicking the Alerts tab. Under this tab, we have two options, Alerts and Alerts version 2.0. Alerts is an extension of the Fleet Performance page, focusing on driver-specific safety alerts. It displays a list of overspeeding, harsh acceleration, idling, hard braking, stoppage, free running, unscheduled, and continuous driving, slow running and geofencing alerts in a data representation format. Unscheduled driving alerts are issued when a vehicle is being driven during curfew hours decided by the fleet operator. Continuous driving alerts are issued according to the customer's requested configuration for tracking continuous driving instances. These alerts also promote overall vehicle safety. Slow running alerts cover instances where the stipulated distance remains uncovered over a period of time. Geofence alerts are issued to mark the entry and exit of vehicles across different hubs. Alerts version 2.0 is an extension of the Alerts page with features like setting thresholds and extra filters. Reports The Reports page has various reports generated based on analyzed factors. These reports help streamline fleet operations with the help of standard automated reports, 
such as periodic reports, route-wise reports, odometer, and vehicle movement reports. It can be accessed by clicking the Reports tab. Under this tab, we have five options, Hub-to-Hub -hub Report, Hub Stoppage Report, Vehicle Daily Report, Odo Report, and Vehicle Movement Report. The Hub-to-Hub -hub Report option contains reports generated based on marked geofences or geolocations. It gives insights into a vehicle's travel between hubs, the date and time traveled, location, distance covered, average speed, fuel consumed, mileage delivered and assigned drivers. We also have an exceptions section where we can click the figures and are redirected to the alerts page to see the driving behavior alerts raised during the trip. Click on the replay on map button to see the recorded geofence to geofence route with a trip summary. All the entries listed in the report can be exported in the form of an Excel sheet by clicking the export button. The hub stoppage report option tracks the stoppage at a particular geofenced hub. It shows the date and time of entry and exit and the total stoppage time at the location. The Vehicle Daily Report option is an automated report generated for a given day between 12 a.m. and 11.59 p.m. It showcases information like distance covered, fuel usage, mileage, idling, fuel consumption while idling and the total runtime. Enable the Details option to see a detailed version of the daily reports generated for each vehicle. The Vehicle Odo Report option tracks a vehicle's AQ-specific odometer readings. It includes the start and end odometer readings, date, time, distance traveled, start and end engine hours, and total engine hours. The GPS-based odometer readings to ensure the highest accuracy even during device off hours. The Vehicle Movement Report option shows information about a vehicle's movement during specific time intervals. It shows data related to distance traveled, nearest hubs, address, average speed, latitude, longitude and a map link of the track location. Live Incidents The Live Incidents page acts as a real-time dashboard showcasing all the alerts that have been triggered in the vehicles. It can be accessed by clicking the Live Incidents tab. It lists all the alerts from speeding, AdBlue levels, fault codes, devices disconnected and connected, fuel filled, free running to fuel theft. It also displays indicators of whether the issue has been resolved, unresolved, completed or ongoing. To mark an issue as resolved, you need to manually add comments. Live data. The live data page shows live details about different parameters within a vehicle. Please note that the data starts updating only for the vehicles where the engine is running. It can be accessed by clicking the Live Data tab. It displays the real-time tracking details of a wide range of engine parameters in a vehicle. Fuel. The Fuel page shows records of fuel filled, pilferage and graphical representations of all these alerts. It can be accessed by clicking the Fuel tab. We need to feed a vehicle number and date range to see insights on the fuel alerts raised for that particular vehicle. We can see the vehicle's name, model, current fuel level and fuel tank capacity on the left. On the right, we have a fuel graph that displays fuel filled, fuel theft and fuel level recorded with respect to amount and odometer readings. You can hover over the markers to get exact readings at that point, along with the timestamp. We can also see the location of the incident by clicking on the blue marker. Next, we have a fuel alerts table that shows logs of fuel filled and fuel theft. Under the fuel filled section, we have data about the manually filled log, actual filling recorded by the system, time, location, distance, fuel consumed and mileage. The fuel theft section shows a record of instances where the values of filled log differ from that of actual filling, which implies that it is an instance of fuel pilferage. All the data pertaining to a particular vehicle on this page can be exported in the form of an Excel sheet by clicking the export button. Fuel alerts. 
The Fuel Alerts page shows logs of recorded fuel fillings and thefts. It can be accessed by clicking the Fuel Alerts tab. To see alerts for a particular date range, we can use the date filter that has been provided. We have three alert types, fuel filled to see fuel filling logs, fuel theft to see logs of fuel pilferage and level sensor malfunction to check if the OEM fuel sensor has malfunctioned. We can also access logs of a particular vehicle by entering the vehicle name. The logs show date and time stamps, amount of fuel filled or stolen and the location of the incident with a map link. AdBlue The AdBlue page shows records of AdBlue filled, pilferage and graphical representations of these alerts. It can be accessed by clicking the AdBlue tab. Here we have different filters like date, specification and emission. We need to feed a vehicle number and date range to see insights on AdBlue for that particular vehicle. On the left, we can see the vehicle's name, model, current AdBlue level and AdBlue tank capacity. On the right, we have an AdBlue graph that displays AdBlue filled, AdBlue theft and AdBlue level recorded with respect to AdBlue level and odometer readings. You can hover over the markers to get exact readings at that point, along with the timestamp. Map. The map page displays the geolocation of all the vehicles along with a summary of issued alerts and health status. It can be accessed by clicking the map tab. You can see a section containing a list of vehicle cards on the left. These cards contain information about the vehicle's number, movement status, location, health status, and last updated timestamp. Click on the card to get a detailed view of the vehicle's specifics like speed at which the vehicle is currently moving, location, odometer reading, and connected status. It also displays the various fault codes recorded on the vehicle along with upcoming service reminders, fuel and AdBlue levels, an option to assign a driver, previous day's utilization, nearby hubs, subscription and network information. The health status of a vehicle ranges from critical, major, and minor to good as seen on the vehicle health page. We have a map view of all the vehicles tracked at various places on the right. We can filter the displayed markers by choosing color-coded filters like stopped, moving, idling and offline. We can also see the number of vehicles that are not being tracked due to device disconnection or power issues. Click on a vehicle marker to see the vehicle name, location, nearby hubs, vehicle history and to add a geofence. You can click on the filter button in the top left corner to filter vehicles based on their vehicle model, health, emission, and fuel. You can also sort and group the vehicles based on their health status. To share a vehicle's location, click on the Get Shareable link button on the right side of the map. You can decide the expiration time of the link and select the particular vehicles for which the data will be shared in the form of an Excel sheet. You can also select the vehicle from the displayed vehicle cards and follow the same process. All the data on this page can be exported in the form of an Excel sheet by clicking the Export Vehicles button on the right side of the map. We hope that you found this video informative. If you have any further queries, Feel free to get in touch with us at intouch at intangles.com.